Apple research to David Bedford is essentially a numbers game. Mm-hmm. That's Minnesota 447, our newest introduction. Minnesota 447 is the new Apple, Bedford, and other researchers at the University of Minnesota are releasing to the public. It's one apple from thousands of trees grown every year at the U. And to determine which lucky variety will eventually make it to the public, Bedford has to keep his mouth busy. Every day, Bedford bites, chews, and spits between five and six hundred apples. So as the saying goes, if an apple a day keeps the doctor away, five or six hundred should be pretty good for you. <laughs> the apples developed at the U of M have been pretty good for Minnesota orchard owners as well. About three quarters of the varieties that are grown in Minnesota by commercial orchards are, were developed by the University of Minnesota. So in effect, uh, the, the local industry is a result of the breeding that was done here. The U's apple breeding program has been going for almost a century. In that time, researchers have developed 25 varieties that can stand up to Minnesota's climate. That means only one in 10,000 apple varieties ever makes it to the grocery store. Researchers like Bedford are so picky because of the stiff competition they put their fruit up against. We look at the competition that we're breeding against is snack foods. Along with helping local agriculture, part of the U's mission is helping Americans live healthier lives. And delicious fruit that can double as a meal and a dessert is a step in that direction. And these are loaded with fiber, which fills you up. Uh, great for controlling weight and, and overeating, and I think one of the best cures for the uh, obesity epidemic that we're facing now. That's a big responsibility, which might explain why Bedford is such a tough critic. Not the perfect one. Not the perfect one. Not so the this, honey crisp. Not the honey crisp, not even close. <laughs> but when that criticism leads to a new apple like the honey crisp, you researchers will have once again developed an economic asset that's good for everyone. I think an apple sort of embodies that perfectly. For the University of Minnesota, I'm Justin Ware.